Have you ever heard of the vagus nerve? I'm all in. Not that kind of vagus nerve. This thing. Ew, what is that jellyfish? It's actually a really huge component of your nervous system. It comes down from the brain stem into your throat and facial muscles, down through your heart, lungs, intestines, stomach, spleen, and kidneys. Basically, the vagus nerve lives up to its name. It means wandering in Latin, and it wanders all over the top of your body. It's actually really important and might provide a potential cure for a lot of mental and physical health conditions. It plays a really big role in inflammation and might be an off switch for inflammatory diseases such as epilepsy, irritable bowel syndrome, and rheumatoid arthritis. Regulation of the vagus nerve can also play a significant role in managing the effects of anxiety, PTSD, and depression. The vagus nerve is also essential for a healthy immune system. Short-term activation of your sympathetic nervous system provides a healthy immune system. Long-term stress weakens the immune system. However, chronic traumatic stress has an inverse reaction, causing your immune system and inflammation to go off the charts. Activation of the vagus nerve keeps your immune system in check and releases an assortment of hormones such as oxytocin and acetylcholine. These reduce inflammation, improve memory, and promote relaxation. Vagus nerve stimulation has also been found to reduce allergic reactions and tension headaches. Regulation of the nervous system depends on the Goldilocks principle. Not too hot and not too cold. Too hot and you feel anxious, panicky, or irritable. Too cold and you feel lethargic, depressed, or just tired. Sometimes we alternate between the two, which is like driving with one foot on the gas and one foot on the brakes. Practices that regulate the vagus nerve are designed to re-energize or relax until you feel just right. How do you regulate the vagus nerve? Direct stimulation can be done with a surgical implant. Or if you'd like to indirectly stimulate the vagus nerve from the comfort of your own home, you can do one of three very easy things. The first one is humming. The vagus nerve passes through behind your ears and down your throat, so when you hum, you're actually vibrating the nerve. The second one is conscious breathing. Breathe in to a count of five, hold for just a second, and then exhale to a count of 10. Repeat it a few times. The long exhale releases acetylcholine. The third one is to activate the diving reflex. To do this, splash cold water from your mouth up until your scalp. Those are all pretty easy and can be incorporated into your daily routine. And if they might make a really big difference, why not give it a try? The information provided in this video was used with permission from an article written by Dr. Ariel Schwartz. Now, of course, if you have any kind of medical condition, check with your doctor before changing your routine. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please share. Thank you.